we're having these monthly lunches, the four pastors, and have become really good friends. And the more we talked about what our own individual churches are doing, the more we talked about uh, what we're doing in the down, downtown community, we began to realize it'd be real easy for us to duplicate efforts. And we didn't want to do that. We thought it would make more sense and we could do more good if our churches worked together. The projects are important, like school supplies or doing the Bible schools out to children in some of the communities that not, might not be able to come to one of the churches for Bible school. But I, I think more importantly, it's not just the projects, but it's the spirit of cooperation. Uh, we support each other in what we do relative to outreach and ESL and food pantry. Uh, we worship together in a community-wide Thanksgiving service. Uh, we find ways to learn from each other. So as Jesus said, when two or more are gathered together in His name, He is there. And so it's great when four churches can come together in collaboration to help point people to Jesus Christ as we pool our resources together in the way of our time, talents, treasures, and people. It's been a, been a wonderful thing, not just for the four churches. In fact, what we've discovered is a lot of folks from other churches, like at Thanksgiving, it wasn't just those four churches, that people in the community saw it as a, a gathering of all denominations in the community, and we invited them all just to come and join us. In the beginning of John's Gospel, we read that in the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, and the Word was God. John describes Jesus as the Word because Jesus came to this earth to be the ultimate revelation to us of who God is and who God's calling us to be. Jesus came to communicate to us that God loves us, God is with us, and ultimately God is for us. And that's good news for you and me today. We need to be reminded that God can seem slow, maybe slow as Christmas, but He is faithful to His Word and God will fulfill His promises for you and for me and for His church in Amarillo, and He will fulfill His promises for the whole world. I know that Christmas is not always an easy time of the year. Sometimes there's an empty chair or a broken heart. I want you to remember that Christmas is about hope and life and joy, and we wish you a Merry Christmas, whatever your circumstances are this year. On behalf of Polk Street United Methodist Church and those who worship with us, I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. We can be reminded of the message of Bethlehem. Things really don't have to be flashy and grand. They can be quite simple and still express God's extraordinary love for us. Celebrating the Panhandle Spirit, Larry Lemons.